Hey guys, this video is about how I built my H-Link for my excavator. I was looking on YouTube and I couldn't really find any ideas about how to build one, uh, so I figured I would record it and post how I built mine, maybe to help somebody else out in the future. So you can see I got uh, recessed Zerk fittings, I got pin wipers on this, bushings, um, fully welded. So. I built this so that it would last the life of the excavator, so let's get into it. So here I have uh, some oversized pin stock that I'm machining down into a 55 millimeter pin. These are some 45 millimeter pin stock that all I had to do was drill some holes in them and put a couple stops on them. So I couldn't find half inch wall DOM tube. So what I'm doing here is I'm sleeving two different sizes together. I'm heating one up to uh, fairly red hot and the other one sat in the freezer overnight. And as you can see, they sleeve together perfectly. So here's the result. Um, they're nice and tight together. And once I machine the edges down, they should look like they're pretty much one piece. And those will be the bossing uh, for the H-Link. So I have a small lathe, and so I had to build this steady rest to hold the larger diameter material so I could machine it down. And this is one of the replaceable bushings that I machined for the project. Here I'm pressing the bushing into the bossing. In these next several clips, you're going to see how I cut out the structural supports for the H-Link. I used a Victor motorized hand torch, and as you'll see, it worked very, very well.
what I have to do now is I have to line bore these bossings. So I took a gamble, I pressed the bushings in, mocked it up on the machine, tack welded it on the machine, uh, and then took it off hoping that if I was careful enough and put a lot of little tack welds around these bossings that when I went and actually welded it in place that they would stay in line with each other. Uh, I lost that. I lost that gamble. So uh, anybody that welds knows that when the weld bead cools, it shrinks and can pull the metal towards it. So that was the idea with me putting a bunch of tack welds around it. Um, but yet it, th these things still ever so slightly have tweaked off of, uh, off of center from each other. So now the pin will not go in all the way and it's just ever so slightly. So uh, what I did was I pressed the bushings out of these already and I'm going to secure my home built line boring bar to it uh, so that I can line bore these and get them back straight in line with each other and then I'll have to build two new bushings for it. So the next clip you're going to see is me putting on my uh, home built line boring bar and, uh, and my plan is to then secure this vertically stand you know stand it upright on edge like this to my drill press to run the line boring bar. So uh, I'm going to get to it. Okay, so here is the finished product. These have been line board. Um, they're close to the same diameter. I didn't worry too much about getting them exact because I can build the bushing to fit. So these are nice and clean now and should be straight with each other and that's what uh, that's what's important.